AmpRepairGuy.com here. We have another video. Here's my contact information, one of my business cards. So what we have here is a Kenwood TL922. Had a filter cap issue, so I went ahead and changed the filter capacitors. Used the Hartbach kit, replaced one of the wires on the B negative side with Teflon wire and I put some te Teflon heat uh, uh, tubing over it to give it some some more um, uh, protection in case it hit a B positive source. I uh, went ahead and cleaned up this air variable. It had been arcing pretty bad. I got rid of all the carbon and I used the file. I think it should be okay. I'm going to fully test it. It's not missing any chunks but I got rid of the sharp edges, put the strap in to lower the inductance path between the plate blocker and the anode the parasitic uh, choke assemblies. And then hook this back up, another choke that goes to the plate choke bypass cap. I love these kits from Harbach. They're great. The sample fire is pretty rough, so I don't have to be really careful when I'm moving it around. Went ahead and grounded all the grids with the copper strap. Did the modification to get rid of all that extra inductance between the plate tune cap and the tube grids. It takes care of all of the uh, most of the uh, pair, you know parasitic issues that these are prone to having. Still haven't done the diode fix yet. I'll do that later today. You can see a new wire for the B positive. I use some flexible high voltage cable. So this thing came out really nice. Bias modification. Diode in to protect the plate current meter. You can see it right over here. So, I do a lot of these amplifiers. Great amp. So, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.